There shouldn't, I mean, there doesn't need to be a bit. Okay, cool. All righty. Sorry about that, everybody. We had some technical difficulties to start the show. Uh, video currently is not working either, but I will be able to give you play-by-play -play via the ears. We are starting the second inning of play. And once again, I apologize for the technical difficulties. Uh, starting off in the top half of the first inning, the Patriots were able to get off on base, get on base be a line drive single from Maddie Rose and then worked her way around through the inning and finally scored, uh, but nothing else on that half of the inning, but uh, did come out to a one to nothing lead. And then in the second, the Hawks were able to get one on base, uh, but left one stranded at first as the final out throw to third was to end the inning. The starting lineup for your Eastview Patriots tonight once more, uh, Starting lineup is number six, the shortstop, Matty Rose. Number five, the left fielder, Bella Guajardo. Number one, the second baseman, Alina Torres. Number four, the center fielder, Izzy Adana. Number 16, the first baseman, Kendall Stanford. Batting six, number three, the catcher, Kenley Karinka. Batting, Batting seven, number 12, the designated player, Kirby. Olivia Gonzal Gonzal Garza. Number nine, batting eighth, the right fielder, Ella Adams. Batting ninth, the third baseman, Jaden Gonzalez. She is wearing it number two. The pitcher tonight, Colby Trapp, who has started off well with a, with a shutdown inning in the first. Score one to nothing as we stand. The first pitch to the sixth batter in the order, the catcher, Kenley Karenka comes in as a strike. On the mound for the Hendrickson Hawks, Tabitha Villa. This one's popped over to the left side and will fall and roll foul as the third baseman, Carl Logano, watches it roll and forces Kenley Krunka to head back to the plate. And the circle pitching once again, Tabitha Villa, as this one clips his own for a strike. And struck out is Kenley Krunka. Now up to bat number 12, Olivia Garza. She's a designated player on the day for the Patriots. We'll go around the diamond for the Hendricks and Hawks lineup at, like I said, starting pitching, number five, Tabitha Villa, the catcher, Alyssa House, number 11. First baseman, Evi Jimenez, number 22. Second baseman, number three, Peyton Schroeder. At third base, number 25, Carl Logano. Zero, number, er, number zero, Cadence Garcia at shortstop. And then from left to right field, Number 10, Haley Woodard. Bella Gonzalez, number 15. This one's lined into left field and will drop as a designated player, Olivia Garza, will stand in at first with one out for your Eastview Patriots. Still trying to get the video figured out. We will get that done as soon as we possibly can. As number nine, the right fielder, Ella Adams, steps into the box 
for her first at-bat of the game. She is the eight-hole hitter for the Patriots. Conversation going down by the Patriots coaching staff. Head coach Lindsey Eaton standing in at third. Runner at first for the Patriots, and it's a pinch runner, Kinsey Guajardo, number 11, who stands in at first now for the designated player, Olivia Garza. First pitch, this one's popped up and fouled back and will hit the backstop for the first pitch of Ella Adams at bat. That will go for a strike. Runner in at first. Stands in, Ella Adams takes a pitch. This one popped into the infield, but it is dropped. It hits the dirt before it could be corralled by the shortstop Peyton Schroeder. So first and second are the runners for the Patriots now with one out. Now batting for the Eastview Patriots, the third baseman number two, Jaden Gonzalez, right-handed batter, steps into the box, and she'll see a first pitch outside the zone, or, or clips the top corner of the zone for a strike. It'll be 0-1 for Jaden Gonzalez. Runners on first and second for the Patriots. Here comes pitch number two. This one bunted down and will be caught by the catcher as this one hits the foot on the attempt to throw to first the foot of Ella Adams, and everybody will move up on the air and throw. And there will be only one out in the inning as everybody moves up, or actually two outs in the inning as everybody moves up. The catcher getting a glove on the bunt for Hendrickson. So two outs. Two on on third and second, both in scoring position. As the lineup flips over, Matty Rose, the shortstop, number six, steps into the box. Right-handed batter wiggles the bat, and he sees a pitch, and this one's fouled back into the backstop for strike two. So Matty Rose steps out and back in to get ready for the third pitch of the bat of the at-bat. Here's the 0-2 pitch. This one down the middle, this one's lying to the left side, but will go foul. The count remains the same at 0-2. So here in the top of the second inning, the Patriots with two batters in scoring, or two runners in scoring position. This one lying to the left side and will drop foul again. Good contact by Matty Rose. Just couldn't get it between the lines. So for the third time, we'll have an 0-2 count. Matty Rose in the right-handed batter's box. Waggles the bat, here comes the 0-2 pitch. This one reaches out, try to get a piece of it, and it does, and ball into the backstop. So 0-2 coming up once more. The sixth pitch of the at-bat. Pitcher shakes her head no two times. Finally nods yes. Here comes the 0-2. This one outside. This one's popped up right about second base. It will be caught by the shortstop, Cadence Garcia. And that'll end the inning without any damage done by the Patriots. And we'll head to the bottom half of the second inning as your Eastview Patriots hold on to a 1-0 lead and leave two runners stranded. There will be no, no runs, no hits, no errors. We go into the bottom of the second. Our sponsors for the night, our diamond sponsors, Whitaker Plumbing and Rory, Rorley Bird Roofing and Restoration. Our Gold, gold Glove sponsors, Gus's Drug, Colby's Nana, who's a returning sponsor for the year. Novak Construction, Blue Monkey Car Chiropr Chiropractic and Wellness. They're also a returning sponsor as well. Those are Diamond Level and Gold Gloves sponsors. 
on the evening. So be sure to go to www.patriotsoftball.com for more details on all sponsorships and to learn more on how your business could sponsor our program. Back here for the top half, or the bottom half of the second inning, the Patriots leading it one to nothing. And back in the circle for the Patriots, Colby Trapp as she gets the first pitch inside for a strike. Catcher behind the plate tonight. This one lined over to the left side. It'll be popped up and caught easy by Maddie Rose. For the first out of the uh, inning. Next for your Hendricks and Hawks, number 22, Evie Jimenez. As Evie Jimenez comes up to bat for the Hendricks and Hawks, she is the seven hole batter for the Patriots, the first baseman, number 22. So we'll go around the lineup for the Patriots. The battery tonight, number 10, Colby Trapp. Number three, Kenley Cervantes, or Cer Kervenka. And then we'll go in from left to right, starting at third base, Jaden Gonzalez, number two, Maddie Rose, number six at short. Second base, Elena Torres, number one. And then the first baseman, 16, Kendall Stanford, as count moves to one and one after a strike from Trapp. In the outfield from left to right, Bella Guajardo, left field, number five. Center fielder, number four, Izzy Adana. And the right fielder, Ella Adams, number nine. A big swing and a miss there by Evie Jimenez for the Hendrickson Hawks. First baseman falling behind 0 and, or 1 and 2 and in her first at bat. One down here in the bottom of the first. Here comes the pitch from Strap. That one way outside. Four ball, 1 and 1. This one lined over to the left side, gets through the third baseman, but the shortstop gets it over, and Rose cannot get it to first in time. The runner, Evie Jimenez, in safely at first for the Hendrickson Hawks. As the new batter comes up for Hendrickson. Number 25, Cara Logano. Luongo third baseman stepping into the box. This one down the middle for a strike. A one count from Trap. Once again, apologies for the video malfunctions here. We're trying to get things figured out as soon as we possibly can. Second pitch of the at-bat comes in for a ball. Trap getting ready for the 1-1 one, one pitch. Here it comes. Swing and a miss. As the batter, number 25, Cara Longo, will fall behind one and two. Let's go. Let's see the ball. This one down the middle for a strike. A nice change up there by... Colby Trapp as she puts down her second batter of the day with a runner uh, on for your Hawks, number 13, Jasmine first. So now up to bat for Hendrickson. Jasmine De Jesus, number 13, the right fielder. Big swing and a miss. Makes it 0-1 from Trap. 
comes the 0-1 pitch from Trap, way outside. That's a ball. Count is one and two. Here comes the one-two pitch, two down. And that one, change up once more, will sit the batter down. And that'll be it for the inning. Back-to-back -back strikeouts from Colby Trapp to get us through the bottom of the second. We'll move on to the third here in a moment. Just, we'll be right back. Back now for the top of the third inning. Up to bat for the Eastview Patriots is number five, Bella Guajardo, the left fielder, and she'll take a swing and a miss for a strike. 1-1 one, one count. Now for Guajardo. She'll take the next pitch for a ball, making it two and one as we just got started here in the top of the third. Eastview holding on to a one nothing lead. Trap really putting in work in the circle as this one flies foul, but will be dropped by the left fielder from Hendrickson, number 10, Haley Woodard. And since it was dropped in foul ground, the runner will have to make her way back to the plate with a 2-2 count. Two-two count, here comes. This one lined into right field. This one going deep, and it is caught by the center fielder, Bella Gonzalez, for the Hendrickson Hawks. And a running catch up against the wall to put down the first batter of the inning for the Eastview Patriots. Batting now for the Patriots, number one, Alana Torres. Alana Torres up to bat now for the Patriots. The third three-hole batter, second baseman, Alana Torres. Her second at bat of the day. Here in the top of the third inning, first pitch outside for a ball. Here comes the 0-1 from Tabitha Villa. That one right down the middle for a strike. One one count, one down here in the top of the third. That one just outside, tried to frame it and she'll get the call. It'll be one and two to Torres.
One, two count, here it comes. This one lined into right field. will get under the glove of the second baseman, Peyton Schroeder, and standing in safely at first will be Alana Torres. Batting now for the Patriots, number four, Izzy Adina. Izzy Adana coming in to bat, the four-hole hitter, number four as well, the center fielder for the Patriots. Runner on first for her. Here comes the first pitch, this one inside and low. Runner goes and is safe at second. Has a stolen base, Alana Torres does. She slides into second safely on the pitch in the dirt. 1-0 count for Izzy Adana now. And Donna. This will be her second at bat of the day. This one fouled off for strike. One and one for Izzy and Donna. Center fielder for the Patriots. Here comes the one one pitch. This one right down the middle for a strike. One two count coming up for Andana. Fourth batter, this one right over the head of the pitcher as this one gets into center field and a long throw, but not in time as Alina Torres will make it all the way home from second base. And Andana will go advance to second as well with the fielder's choice. So only one down here for the Patriots in the top of the third, and now have a two-run lead over the Hendrickson Hawks. A big swing and a miss by the third baseman, number 16, or the first baseman, number 16, Kendall Sanford. This one lined over the left side. They're gonna say that is fair. The runner coming around third and will be safe at home. The runner to second overthrows the second baseman. They'll get this one out in the outfield and it will advance. The runner, Kendall Sanford, all the way around the base path and that's an inside the park home run with an assist with a couple errors as well. So two runs come around on that one and it'll clear the bases. It is now four to nothing for your Hendrickson Hawks with only one out here in the third. We'll take a quick break as the coach for Hendrickson comes to the mound. One down here in the top of the third, your Hendrickson, or your uh, Eastview Patriots took, taking a four to nothing lead as this one is popped up right to the pitcher, and that will be the second out of the inning. And inside the park home run just occurred by Kendall Sanford. As Sanford brought in two runs and her and herself to extend the lead to four. So we'll officially rule it a double, and we'll give a couple errors on the advancement. I'll just call the error on the left fielder. So we'll go a double and a E7 to bring her home 
for the fourth run of the game as the Patriots designated player Olivia Garza stands in. She'll take the first pitch for a strike, 0-1. First out was a fly out to deep center field. Center fielder for Hendrickson, Bella Gonzalez, was able to corral that one in on a running catch against the wall. This one popped over into the backstop. 0-2 count now for Olivia Garza. This one lined over to the left side. It goes foul, but it is caught by the first baseman. Evi Jimenez, and that'll be the end of the inning here in the top of the third. We'll move our way to the bottom of the third. Don't go anywhere, though. We'll be right back here for East View Patriot Baseball, or softball. Back here for the bottom of the third inning, your Eastview Patriots leading four to nothing after a big inning for the Patriots. Ana Torres started things off with a single and ended up sealing second before Izzy Adana was able to hit a double and bring her all the way around. And with the double, Standing on second, Sanford was able to get a double as well and then it brought herself all the way around on an E7, deeming inside the park home run to bring the score to four to nothing here in the bottom of the third after a couple of pop outs from the Patriots ended the inning. So now, batting for the Hendrickson Hawks. is the double zero for the Hawks, Cadence Garcia. Cadence Garcia stepping in for her second at bat of the day. The 2-1 pitch from Trap up and in for a ball, 3-1 now for Garcia as Garcia takes the 3-1 pitch inside for a strike. Count goes full. This one lined over to the right side. will drop in fair territory as the right fielder Ella Adams makes chase in the speedy Cadence Garcia, the shortstop for Hendrickson, makes it all the way to third base for a triple. Up next for your Hendrickson Hawks, number off. three, Peyton Troyer. So now up to bat for the Hendrickson Hawks, the second baseman 
number three, Peyton Schroeder, as she'll watch the first pitch clip the corner for a strike. A one count, here it comes from Trap. This one up high and will be called ball, 1-1. One, one. Peyton Schroeder in for her second at bat as the lineup just pulled over. Got a 1-1 one, one count, runner on third. But no outs, this one popped over to shortstop and will drop in no man's land just outside of the dirt. Runner comes home, goes to second, but not in time. As Alina Torres tries to make the tag, but could not get the glove on the runner. As Peyton Schroeder makes her way to second with a double, an RBI double, to put the Hawks on the board. This one lined over to the left side. The first pitch of the at-bat goes foul. 0-1. Batter, the designated player, number 17, Lily Miller, at the plate. As second pitch, 0-1, rolls in the dirt. This one, runner advances, but she is Safe at third. Peyton Schroeder makes it to third with a stolen base on the rolling pitch across the dirt. Colby Trapp now with a 1 1 count to Lily Miller. This one just outside for a ball, 2 and 1. Runner on third for the Hawks. No outs. Here comes the 2-1 pitch from Trap. This one, a reach out for it. Popped up and a nice catch by the shortstop. Matty Rose will hold the runner at third, but the first out next for Hendrickson Hawks, number 15, Bella Gonzalez. from the Hawks as Hendrickson will bring up their four-hole hitter, the center fielder, number 15, Bella Gonzalez. First pitch to Bella Gonzalez, low for a ball. As the first out of the inning coming from a pop fly to shortstop. As second pitch outside, 2-0. and oh. Low and away, says the umpire. As Bella Gonzalez steps in and out of, or out and back into the box, her Easton Waving above the head, here comes a pitch from Strap. This one lined over to the left side, gets through the infield. That'll advance the runner home, and at least a single, and it will be a single as it holds Bella Gonzalez at first, an RBI single for the Hawks. This one uh, now two to Hawks, four. 11, the runner on first for the Hawks. Only one out in the inning. As the next batter, Alyssa House, First pitch, a strike from Trap to Alyssa House. As Bella Gonzalez stands in at first with the RBI single. Only one down here in the bottom of the third. Pitch way outside. Ball one, one strike. One one pitch. This one's lined to the left side and hot corner there. Watch out! That's a double play as it goes 
immediately into the glove of Jaden Gonzalez over to Kendall Stanford, and that will end the inning with a unassisted play at third base and a 5-3 double play to finish off the Hawks in the bottom of the third. We'll be moving on to the top of the fourth just after this. Don't go anywhere. Back here for the top of the fourth. The first pitch, the batter of Eastview number nine. Ella Adams will take that one. This one lined over to the left side, but it will go foul. Ella Adams stepping back in with a 1-1 count. Adam stepping back in, 1-1 one, one count coming up. Nobody down here in the top of the fourth, 4-2 four to still, as this one lined into the backstop, 1-2. Taking time here as the right fielder had to go retrieve a ball. This one coming back in as Ella Adams steps back into the right-handed batter's box. Pitcher Tabitha Villa for the Patriots. Here comes the 0-2, that one outside, and cold strike three. Got her looking. That will be the first out of the inning for the Patriots. Now up to bat, the third baseman, Jaden Gonzalez, number two, the nine-hole hitter for the Patriots. This one chopped over to the left side and will just fall foul as the first baseman can't get a glove on it. 0-1 count now for Jaden Gonzalez. About to turn over for the third time, or the second time in the game here is the pitch up and away for a ball from Tabitha Villa. Jaden Gonzalez watching it go by. 1-1 one, one count. Here it comes. This one fouled in the backstop as count moves to one and two for Gonzalez. This one going over to the right side. And 
goes foul. Keeping the count at one and two. So the one-two count, this one fouled over to the left side and had to, to really come in on that bat, bring in the hands to keep that one alive. One down here in the top of the fourth. One ball, two strikes for Gonzalez, the nine hole hitter for the Patriots. This one up and away and a swing and a miss. Jaden Gonzalez is struck out. Back to back strikeouts for Tabitha Villa. For the Patriots, number six, Maddie Rose. Pitcher really settling in here now as she's put two away here in the top of the fourth. Eastfield's, Eastfield's still holding on to a 4 2 lead as we turn the lineup over and Maddie Rose stands in at the plate. Tall shortstop in the right handed batter's box. Takes the first pitch for a ball. This one way outside for ball two. With two down here. In the top of the fourth, Rose takes this one for ball three. Has to hop out of the way a little bit for it, but working herself an 0-3 count. 3-0 count. Here comes the 3-0. This one inside. Called strike just on the corner of the strike zone. Move the count to 3-1 for Maddie Rose. Stepping back in. Here comes the 3-1. This one inside, and that'll be ball four. She'll take her base with the walk. Bella Guajardo coming in now for the Patriots. Left-handed left fielder steps in with two down and a runner on first. This one way outside as Maddie Rose takes off for second, and she is in there safely. Time is called, and she'll have her way to get back up. That will be ball one, and Maddie Rose moves herself up to second with the stolen base. Guajardo stepping in. This one outside once more, 0-2 or 2-0 count. Two down, top of the fourth. Four to two ball game for the Patriots. This one just down the middle, right down Broadway. Four strike one, 2-1 two -one now for Guajardo. Tabitha Villa, here comes the 2-1. This one line in the middle, she gets a glove on it. Goes over to first and that will end the inning on the 1-3 play from Villa to sit down the final batter as the Patriots leave a runner stranded on second. No runs, no hits, no errors. One left stranded as we go to the bottom of the fourth. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back. Back here for the sponsors of the game, our Silver Slugger sponsors, Honea's Automotive, Double Dave's Pizza Work, Austin Telco, FCU. Those are our Silver Slugger sponsors. And then our Patriot sponsors are Myers Elgin Sausage, Ella Luna Equestrian, The Yard Milkshake Bar, WWT Worldwide Technologies, and Ideal Signs. Those are our Patriot sponsors for the evening. Be sure to go to Patriot, www.patriots.com dash softball.com for more details on all sponsors and to learn how your business could sponsor our program.
back for the bottom of the fourth as first pitch from Stapp, Trap, my apologies, goes outside for a ball. Second pitch up and away, ball two to the batter for Hendrickson, number 10, the left fielder, Haley Woodard. Woodard takes the 2-0, swings it on, but will be caught by the shortstop, Matty Rose, and easy out there for, with the pop out to short. So one batter down here in the bottom half of the fourth inning. No runners on for the Hawks, two to four. Your Patriots still lead it. This one popped over and will go foul into the street behind us as it'll go 0-1 for the first baseman, Evie Jimenez. Evie Jimenez will line this one over to the left side, but it will go foul as Jimenez works her way into a 0-2 count. This one up and away for ball one. One, two now for Jimenez. Here comes the one, two from Trap. This one down the middle will be swung on and over to third base. Right back to first as Jaden Gonzalez gets it to Kendall Stanford. And that'll go 6-3 or 5-3 for the second out of the inning. As Evie Jimenez is sat down. Hadley Woodard was sat down on a pop-up to shortstop, and then uh, Evie Jimenez grounded into a out to third base. As the pitch to the third baseman, number 25, Cara Luan Luongo is inside for a strike. Another swing and a miss. 0-2 count now. For Cara Luongo. This one way outside for a ball. One and two from Trap. Two down here in the bottom of the fourth. So this play gets into the outfield on a base hit. Try to bring it into second, but in safely, uh, just not in time. As Kara Luongo gets a double for the first hit of the inning from the Hawks. First pitch. To the leadoff batter, Garcia is fouled off. Actually, we got a new batter here for the Hendrickson Hawks. Number 13, Jasmine De Jesus. The right fielder stepping in. She is the ninth batter in the order. One and one. Here it comes from Trap and a big swing and a miss. One, two count. At the end of this inning, I'm going to take a break and try to get the video stream up and going.
This one lines over to the left side, and pitcher misses it, but over to short. And they're going to call that safe at first. The throw just pulling Kendall Stanford off the bag. So runners in the corners for Hendrickson Hawks. It looks like we're getting a new pitcher. I'm going to take a break now. Uh, hold on for me. I'm going to try to get this uh, audio or the video back up. Just give me two, two minutes or so, and I'll Looks like I could not get the video up. I apologize for that. We will continue to stream this one as a radio broadcast. As a new pitcher comes in for the Patriots. And we'll get that info as soon as I can. Batter up for Hendrickson, Kaden. Cadence Garcia, as she was able to come in with a run after her triple. She's got runners in the corners, and the runner from first advances over to second. Putting both runners in scoring position. One fouled off to the left side, and that will bring the count full for Cadence Garcia here in the bottom of the third, or in the, of the fourth. There are two down, two on. This one, big swing and a miss, and that'll strike out the final batter of the inning, leaving two stranded for Hendrickson. They will get no runs off two hits, leaving two on, but no errors as well. And the new pitcher for Eastview, big strikeout, swinging to end things here. In the bottom of the four, so we head our way to the fifth inning. Don't go anywhere, I will be right back here for Eastview Softball. Back here for the top half of the fifth inning, leading off for the Patriots. Number one, Alana, Alina Torres. She'll be the leadoff batter here in the inning. The first pick she sees up and in for a strike in the fifth. Last time she was up, she had a single, got a stolen base and brought around for a run. This one way inside, almost Hits the batter, but does not. Brings the count to one and one to start the inning. Four to two here, as this one's lined over to the left side. Gets through the infield, past the shortstop, as Alina Torres will stop it first. Throw holds her there. 
But a leadoff single for Torres here in the top of the fifth. See if she tries to make a run for it like she did in the last or the last time she was up. Lana Torres was able to get safely to second on a stolen base. She's gonna go right here, that one in there, but no, she is tagged out by the catcher, Alyssa House. She throws it over to the shortstop, Cadence Garcia, double zero with the tag. So caught stealing for the first out of the inning here in the top of the fifth. So 1 0 count. This one up and in, but will not clip the zone. 1 0 moves to 2 0. This is Izzy and Donna at the plate. She'll take another one, this time strike for a 2 1 count. And Dana. The center fielder for the Patriots will line this one over to the left side, but it will go foul. 2-2 Two -two count on a chopper. One down here in the top of the fifth. Patriots holding on to a 4-2 lead over the Hendrickson Hawks. 2-2 Two -two count coming from Via. This one lined over to the right side and will be thrown out for the second out of the inning from third to first. As we go 5-3 for the second out of the inning on a 2-2 count. So reset the count and move things over as a left-handed batter, Sanford, Kendall Sanford will step in, the, short, or the first baseman. She'll take a first pitch for a strike. Sanford stands in, a one pitch. Here comes that one up and away. That'll be a ball, one and one. One, one count, two down here in the top of the fifth. This one up and away for a ball, two, one now for Kendall Sanford. This one fouled off to the left side. Bringing the count to two and two. Sanford. Check swing, didn't go around. Brings the count full. So full count pitch coming from Via. This one fouled over to the left side. Will hit the netting over above the Hendrickson dugout. And the count will remain the same. Two down here in the top of the fifth. This one lined over to the left side. Will drop foul on a good pop from Sanford. Two down, full count. Top of the fifth, Patriots leading it four to two. Stepping back into the left-handed batter's box is Sanford. Here comes the pitch via full count. This one over the left side, popped over, same spot. Will leave the yard, but in foul ground. So full count coming once more. For Sanford, steps back in. This one lined over the left side. Will go to left field, but it is caught by Haley Woodard of the Hendrickson Hawks to retire the final batter of the inning. Patriots, no runs on one hit, no errors, and nobody left on base. Move our way to the bottom half of the fifth. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back. 
for Eastview High School Softball. Back here for the bottom of the fifth inning as the Hendrickson Hawks come up to bat for their fifth go around. Eastview Patriots leading it four to two. As Peyton Schroyer, Schroeder comes up to bat for the Hawks. Last time up she had a double and stole third, but was left stranded. Actually, she came in for a run. That was the second run of the game for the Hawks. And the most recent as well. Left-handed batter standing in as the first pitch from the Patriot pitcher, number 12, outside for a ball. Second pitch, the 1-0 inside for a strike. 1-1 one, one count now for Schroeder. Comes the one two. This one lined over to the left side and through the glove of the third baseman, Jaden Gonzalez. And Schroeder will get an infield single as Gonzalez could not get the glove on the ball. So Schroeder standing in at first for the Hawks here in the bottom of the fifth. Here comes the first pitch of the at-bat for Lily Miller as she'll watch that one by for a strike, 0-1. Miller, right-handed batter, number 17, is the designated player for the Hawks. Second pitch, low and away for a ball. Brings the count one and one for Miller, the designated player for the Hawks. Stepping back into the box is Miller. Roll the bat on the shoulder. This one up high will be take, took for a ball. Catcher gets this one over the pitcher's head, but luckily Alina Torres was right behind it to be able to keep it from going anywhere into the outfield and keeping Schroeder at first. Comes the pitch to Miller. This one inside for a ball, 3-1. Nobody down. Runner on first in Schroeder. Here comes the 3-1 pitch. This one hits the batter right in the knee. And limping over to first base is Lily Miller. She'll take her bag, and it will advance Schroeder as well to second. On the hit by pitch. So taking her time over there at the first base. She's obviously in a little pain as she's discussing things with the first base coach of the Hawks. She'll make her way to first base 
And it looks like she will stay in the game as number 15, the center fielder, Bella Gonzalez, steps in to bat for the Hendrickson Hawks. Nobody down, the third batter of the inning. And the umpire says we will resume play as Gonzalez steps into the right-handed batter's box. Here comes the first pitch. This one low and inside for a ball, 1-0 count. Runners on first and second, a single from Schroeder to start off the inning, and then a hit-by-pitch to Lily Miller. Moved everybody up a bag. This one a big swing and a miss, a one-and-one. One. Moves the count. Gonzalez, the left fielder, had a single in the third, but got turned on a double play as big swing and a miss comes from Gonzalez, but the pitch goes wild. And everybody moves up to the next bag. Runners on second and third now for the Hawks. Nobody down. Two balls, one strike. Here comes the pitch. This one right down Broadway for strike two. So wild pitch moves everybody up. Runners on second and third. This one inside almost hit the batter, but went as a ball, bringing the count full. This one right down the middle. This will be lined over and gets through the glove of the shortstop, Matty Rose. One run comes around. Here comes the second. A big throw, but not in time. As the center fielder, Izzy Adana, could not get it to home plate in time, and the game is tied on the base-clearing double for the Hendrickson Hawks. So the game is tied here in the bottom of the fifth after the base clearing double from Bella Gonzalez of the Hendrickson Hawks. The center fielder put a nice swing on a ball to get it through the infield just past Matty Rose, bringing in Schroeder from third and Lily Miller from second. So Gonzalez now stands in at second after the double. We got a new pitcher for the Eastview Patriots, number 18. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. You're listening to Eastview Patriots Softball. New pitcher on the mound for the Eastview Patriots, Haley Pena, comes in the circle for Eastview after the game was just tied by Bella Gonzalez, a two-run double. So we're going to take a quick intermission as the umpire gets things sorted out. It looks like a new pitch or a new batter. No, batter's the same. Not sure what the conversation's about. Maybe they're just trying to book the number and name for the official scorecards. So new pitcher, like I mentioned, Haley Pena in for your Eastview Patriots. in the bottom of the fifth. Nobody gone here so far as first pitch to Alyssa House is clipped foul, making the count 0-1. Here comes the 0-1. This one just foul once more. 0-2 quickly here. 
from Haley Pena to Alyssa House. Runner on second, and Bella Gonzalez brought around two runs already this inning. Alyssa House steps back into the right-handed box. Here comes the 0-2, that one up, up and away. For a ball, 1-2 now to House. Back in the right-handed batter's box. The runner on second is Gonzalez for the Hawks. No outs here in the bottom of the fifth. Here comes the pitch from Pena. This one popped over to the right side in foul ground. And Kendall Sanford will collect that one in foul territory for the first out of the top of the fifth. As a pop foul to first base, retires the first batter and leaves Bella Gonzalez on second with no advance. New batter Haley Woodard, the left fielder for the Hawks. First pitch to her from Pena. Inside for strike. 0 1 count. Here comes the 0 1 from Pena. This one lined over to the right side and a sharp liner just foul. Moves the count to 0 and 2 for. Woodard of the Hawks. Here comes the 0-2 from Pena in the circle. This one lined over to the right side. Will be caught in the outfield by Ella Adams. The runner in Gonzalez will advance to third. No tag there as she gets through safely, but just moves up one bag at the expense of an out from Haley Woodard, a sacrifice fly to right field. Second out of the inning as Bella Gonzalez moves to third. Evie Jimenez, first baseman, stepping in for the Hawks. Here comes the first pitch from Pena, that one inside for a ball. 1-0 count. Game was tied in this inning. A two-run double from Gonzalez as this one is fouled over to the right side. Brings the count to one and one. Schroeder of the Hawks had a single and then advanced after Lily Miller was walked. And then both of them advanced on a wild pitch. And then the double from Gonzalez brought everybody around. Big swing and a miss there from Jimenez as the count moves one and two. Here comes the one two from Pena, swing and a miss and that'll end the inning. Leaving the runner stranded on third and leaving the game tied. Pena comes in and leaves the runner stranded from the last pitcher just to keep it tied. And we will go ahead and move ourselves into the top of the sixth inning. All tied up at four. Don't go anywhere, though. This is Eastview Patriots Softball on SHN Sports. Back here for the top of the sixth, the Hendrickson Hops, Hawks in the bottom of the fifth got two hits or two runs on two hits. No errors, but left a runner stranded as we move ourselves into the top half of the sixth inning. The leading, the batter leading off 
for Patriots, number three, Kinley Cervenka. She is the catcher. This one popped up to the left side, and the third baseman, Cara Luongo, will get that underneath that one and make quick work of the Patriot catcher for the first out of the inning on the pop-up to third. Tied up here. And this one lined over to the left side. This has got a charge in it, but it will drop foul as the batter for the Patriots, number 12, Olivia Garza. Works her count 0-1 with the foul. This one up and away for a ball, 1-1 one, one count. From Tabitha Villa. Villa standing strong after giving up four runs early to the Patriots. Now has a tie ball game to work with. This one lined in the left field. That will drop in fair ground. Goes into foul territory, but not before it hits the green in fair territory. That will be a single for Olivia Garza, a one-out single. First hit of the inning. Ella Adams comes up, the right fielder, number nine, for the Patriots. So the umpire writing in his book as looks like we got a pinch runner for Olivia Garza, the designated player. I'll let you know once I can see the number who that is. But dropped by Ella Adams. She will get to first and a throw is wild. That will bring it over all the way, or bring the runner, the pinch runner from first all the way through. And an inside the park home run on a couple of errors will bring two runs in. That was a wild play. Let me try to recap that for you guys. So this one bunted down by Ella Adams. On the way to first, they choose her to go. The throw goes wild. The ball flies into foul territory, is picked up by a hawk, and hesitates to throw it. And around comes the pinch runner around third and could not get the throw in in time for her, nor for Ella Adams, who comes all the way around for a two-run errant home run in the top of the six. So the bases are cleared, and the Patriots grab two more runs, and that is where it will stand. They're trying to discuss it. The Hawks are. They are not happy with it. They think that there was, may have been a runner interference. I did see how they could think that is what's going on, but the Hendrickson Hawks coach real upset with the umpire crew at the moment, but that will be the way it stands. It is now 6-4 to four as the Hawks trail the Eastview Patriots. First pitch to the new batter for the Patriots, number 15. This one fouled off. This is Alana Riviera coming in to bat ninth for the Patriots. So a new batter coming in, and I will assume a new third baseman as well. Alana Riviera in for the Patriots. It's 1-1 one, one count. Here it goes. Big swing and a miss. That moves it to 1-2. and two. Alana Rivera in the right-handed box. This one, a 1-2 pitch line out in the left field, but it will be caught by Haley Woodard in left field for the second out of the inning. 
But not before those two runs came around on a couple errant throws. Off the bunt. Let me recap that one more time for you guys. So there was a bunt down by Ellie Adams where she was able to reach first on an errant throw. And then because of that errant throw, Olivia Garza, or the pinch runner for Olivia Garza, didn't ever quite get that number, came all the way around from first to home. And then the outfielder who ended up getting the ball for the Hawks held on to it and allowed Ella Adams to come around third. And then when she finally threw it, it was not in time for the inside, park, inside the park home run. So two down now as the pinch hitter Alana Rivera lines out or flies out into left field. So the batter now as the lineup flips over is Maddie Rose. As Maddie Rose takes a ball and two strikes and her first three pitches from Villa. This one way up and away. That'll bring it to two and two with two outs. Maddie Rose, the shortstop, number six for the Patriots. Tall right-handed batter. This one just outside. No, it'll say it clipped the zone for a strikeout. That'll be a strikeout looking for Maddie Rose, and that'll end the inning as it stands. But the Patriots do grab two runs on one hit and a couple of errors. One runner left stranded. Don't go anywhere. You're listening to... Eastview Patriots softball on SHN Sports. Here in the middle of the sixth, your Eastview Patriots holding on to a six to four lead as Haley Pena still in the circle for the Patriots. Go ahead and recap our Diamond and Cold Glove sponsors, or Diamond sponsors for the evening, Whitaker Plumbing. Worley, Worley Bird Roofing and Restoration. Those are our diamond sponsors of the evening. Our gold glove sponsors, Gus's Drug, Colby's Nana, Novak Constructions, and Blue Monkey Chiropractic, Chiropractic, Chiropractic and Wellness. Wow. Having trouble saying that word tonight. But once again, those are our gold glove sponsors. Be sure to go to www.patriots.com dash softball.com for more details and all sponsors and to learn how your business could sponsor our Patriot program here in this softball season. Here in the bottom of the sixth inning now as Haley Pena steps into the circle, the first batter she'll face in the inning is the third baseman, Cara Loango. First two pitches in for a strike. Count quickly, 0-2. This one swung on, but fouled back into the netting behind home plate. That'll be an 0-2 count once more. Kara Luongo, the right-handed batter. 0-2 pitch, here comes from Pena, that one up high for a ball, 0 and, or 1 and 2. Kara Luongo, last time up, had a double but was left stranded on second in the fourth. That one just outside for a ball, moves the count to 2 and 2 here in the bottom of the sixth. 
Nobody gone so far. Bases are empty. First batter Pena is singing in the inning. This one a big swing and a miss. And Luongo sat down by Haley Pena for the first out of the inning on a swinging strikeout. Up next for your Hendrickson Hawks, number 13, Jasmine De Jesus. So as you heard it, the nine hole hitter, number 13, Jasmine De Jesus, comes into bat. This one bunted foul onto the left side. One down, moves the count to 0 and 1. Haley Pena in the circle, rocks the glove as this bunt comes down and the third baseman for Eastview is there but cannot get it over to first. The first baseman will drop the throw as Torres, or Kendall Stanford at first cannot get it down. I believe that was a line of Torres that actually came over from second to ground that throw to first. Kendall Stanford played the bunt. And another bunt dropped, but the runner goes, and nobody standing on second as the shortstop had to go cover third on the bunt play. As... Count is 0-1 after the missed bunt. Big swing and a miss from Garcia of the Hawks. Brings the count quickly to 0-2. So De Jesus, De Jesus gets the bunt down and advances over to second. Up next for your Hendrickson Hawks, number three, Peyton Schroyer. On the air at first. I guess it's an E3, as we'll write in our book, to get to second and be safe there. Two outs after a big swing and a miss. And another strike called for Pena as Schroeder up to bat now. Goes 0-1. Two down here in the inning. Runner on second, big one more swing and a miss from Schroeder, left-handed batter. Steps out of the box after the big swing and a miss. So 0 and 2 for Schroeder. One runner on second, 0 2 count. Here it comes from Pena, that one just clips the end of the zone and that'll be a strikeout to end the inning. On Schroeder, struck her out looking, Pena did. And that'll move us to the seventh inning of play. The top of the seventh coming up. Your Eastview Patriots leading it six to four. After six full innings, we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. This is Eastview Patriots softball on SHN Sports. So back out here at Hawk Softball Stadium for the top of the seventh. Bella Guajardo will lead things off for the Patriots here as they hold on to a six to four lead. In the top half of the seventh. So here we go. 
The bunt is laid, but pulled back by Guajardo, and that'll be outside for a ball. one -oh count. Villa still in the circle, pitching a complete game so far. Ball goes right down Broadway for a strike, one and one. Tabitha Villa, six runs in the night. Not all of them are earned, that's for sure. Says at least four of them came in and threw errors. Another strike comes in to Guajardo, bringing the count one and two. Here comes the one-two pitch. This one swung on into center field, deep out there, and dropped by Bella Gonzalez as Guajardo stands in safely at second. That one was dead center and just got underneath it but could not keep it in the glove as Guajardo gets a leadoff double in the inning for the Patriots. Nobody down as we move on to number one, Alina Torres for the Patriots. She is the second baseman as she takes the first pitch for a ball. Lined over to the left side, thinks about throwing it to second, goes to first, she's out there. This one advancing to third as Guajardo was able to get to third on the throw to first. Torres out at first on the fielder's choice. But Bella Guajardo able to advance to third with one out here in the top of the seventh. Still leading six to four, the Patriots are, as they are the visiting, visiting team. The Hawks will get one more shot. Via pitch in for strike as Izzy and Donna takes the inside pitch, 0-1 count. Here it comes from Villa. This one lined over to the left side. Will it stay fair? No, it will not. And caught on the run in foul territory by the left fielder, Haley Woodard. But tagging up and scoring is the Patriot left fielder, Bella Guajardo. She's able to bring in another run for the Patriots. As the bases are cleared on the sacrifice, seven to four now. The Patriots take a three-run lead here in the top of the seventh. It was a great run and catch, but with a runner on third, I don't know why you don't let that ball just drop and let it go. The whole run would come through if you just let it go foul. Seven to four now. Two down here in the inning. This one lined over to the left side. That one will go foul as Kendall Stanford stands in after the sacrifice fly brought in Guajardo. So 1-1 one, one count now for Sanford. with two down here in the top of the seven. This one lined over to the left side, gloved by the third baseman, over to first and in time for the final out of the inning. Cara Luongo to Evie Jimenez for the out. Kendall Sanford goes 5-3 for the final out of the inning, but not before the Patriots grab one hit, or one run on one hit, no errors as they leave nobody on. And we head to the bottom half of the seventh inning. Don't go anywhere, though. This is Eastview Patriots Softball on SHN Sports. I'll be back.
back here for the bottom half of the seventh inning. Your Eastview Patriots three outs away from taking the win from the Hendrickson Hawks at Hawk Softball Stadium here in Pflugerville, Texas. As the first batter up for Pena here in the bottom of the seventh is Lily Miller. First pitch low and away for a ball. 1-0 count. Pena in the circle has thrown a couple of shutout innings so far. Maybe we'll get her third to put this game away. Swing and a miss, check swing, but did go around as the umpire calls a strike one and one. Lily Miller steps back into the right-handed batter's box, keeps the bat on her shoulder, brings it up high. Here comes the pitch, one, one. This one's fouled off in the netting on the right side. One, two count now. For Lily Miller. Pena ready to go in the circle. Stepping back in the box is Miller. Pena steps back and back out. Both the batter and the pitcher do. And now everybody is set to go. One, two pitch, here it comes from Pena. That one up high and just misses the zone. Two, two count. Nobody down here in the bottom of the seventh. Three outs away the Patriots are from taking this one. That one just outside and does not clip the zone. They say it was on the outside part of the plate or outside of the plate. Brings the count full, three and two for Lily Miller. Miller stepping back up into the box. Pena ready to go. Here comes the full count pitch. This one lined over to the right side and a diving catch. Could not get it in the glove was Ella Adams as safe at first is Lily Miller as she has to come back on the quick throw. And Ella Adams down on the ground does not look good from where I stand. Her arm looks to be in a lot of pain. We'll go ahead and take a quick break. Don't go anywhere. This is Eastview High School Softball on SHN Sports. So we're here in the bottom of the seventh as Ella Adams, the right fielder for your Eastview Patriots, is down on the ground after a diving attempt to get the first out here in the seventh. She is still down with the trainers. She looks to be in a lot of pain. And uh, thoughts and prayers go out to her and her family. Hopefully everything is okay out there. I uh, just wanted to give you all an update. I will bring it back whenever we can resume play, but hopefully things are better than they look. We'll be right back. This is Eastview Patriots Softball on SHN Sports.
So Ella Adams is up and moving at least her right arm. It looks like her left arm uh, is stabilized at the moment. So a left hand injury is what I am seeing here. Hopefully everything is okay. Once again, prayers out to her family, the Adams family, for the Eastview Patriots. So we'll see a new right fielder for the Patriots after the injury from Adams. I will update you as I know. It looks like it is number 17 for the Patriots. That is Clara Ortega. So Clara Ortega. In right field for the Patriots now to finish out the game. Nobody down here in the bottom of the seventh. Runner on first after the missed diving catch. So we'll call that a single as the first pitch low and away for a ball to the new batter, Bella Gonzalez, the center fielder, number 15 for the Hawks. Second pitch, 1-0 inside for a strike, 1-1 one, one count. Pena checks the band in the circle, steps up to the rubber. Here comes the 1-1 one, one from Pena, this one inside for a ball to Gonzalez. Gonzalez today had a single in the third and a double in the fifth. Moved up to third base, but not brought around in that fifth inning as she was able to get to third, but nothing more. This one low and away for a ball, three, one count. Tabella Gonzalez from Pena. Gonzalez, the center fielder. Stepping back into the box. Pena on the rubber. Here comes the 3-1. This one up and away. That will be a ball to walk uh, Gonzalez. And move runners in on first and second with no outs. So the walk. Puts Lily Miller on second after the single to lead things off for the Hawks. And the tying run is at the plate for the Hawks here in the bottom of the seventh. Batter now Alyssa House, number 11 catcher, takes, ball, or takes the first ball for a ball from Pena. Here comes the 1-0, that one inside and low for ball two. So 2-0 count to House. So pitching coach comes out, take a second, talk to Haley Pena out in the circle. Probably just letting her know, hey, just settle down a little bit. You got a good, good lead to work with. Just can't really keep bringing people around. So Pena looks like she's ready to go. We'll see if they'll keep her in or move on. Pena will stay in the circle as the pitching coach walks his way back to the dugout. It is a 2-0 count to Alyssa House. Nobody, do nobody down and runners on first and second for the Hawks. Pena ready to go on the rubber, checks the band as House steps out and back into the box. Right-handed batter's box it is. This one fouled or lined over to the right side. This one over to first in time for the first out of the inning. Uh, Alyssa House uh, is sat down on a 4-3 grounder as everybody moves up. Puts two runners in scoring position. with one down for the Hawks. Next batter, Haley Woodard. The left fielder will line this one over to the right side, hits the netting above the dugout of the Patriots, but moves the count to 0 and 1.
Pena checks the wristband as Woodard stands in, steps on the rubber. Here comes the blow, the 0 1 from Pena. That one low and inside for a ball to bring the count to 1 and 1. One down here in the bottom of the seventh. Two outs away are the Patriots from taking this one in Pflugerville. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. This one swung on, lined over to the right side. That will be scooped up by Torres and over to Sanford, but not before a run comes in from third and Lily Miller. So that will bring the score to 7-5 to five with two gone here in the bottom of the seventh. Another 4-3 grounder, but this one a sacrifice RBI to bring in the run of Lily Miller. Bella Gonzalez stands in at third, and a new batter for the Hawks. Looks to be number eight, Kennedy Wheeler. Now to bat, now to bat for the Hawks, Kennedy Wheeler. Stepping in in the right-handed batter's box. Looks to lay down a bunt to try to bring in a run. She'll pull it back and take the first pitch for a ball. So Kennedy Wheeler now in on the seven hole. Will probably reverse, replace first base as well if it goes into extras. That one in for a strike right down Broadway. One and one now to Wheeler. Pena came in in the fifth inning and has done good work so far. After her counterpart brought up two runs, Pena now just with the one, keeping her team on a two-run lead. 1-1 one, one slap foul will be a 1-2 count now. For Wheeler, Pena walks, walking back into the circle with one strike to go before taking this one from the Hawks. Trying to go home happy from Pflugerville. Here comes the one-two pitch. That one right down the middle and just high as it comes in on the hands of Wheeler. Moves the count to two and two. Runner on third, tying run at the plate. Pena, 2-2 pitch to Wheeler. This one up high, check swing, and she's called swinging. That'll end the game with a swinging strikeout from Pena. And your Eastview Patriots take this one 7-5 over the Hendrickson Hawks. Runner left stranded on third. And Bella Gonzalez, as that will be the final here in Pflugerville. Thank you for listening to this broadcast of Eastview Patriots softball. Once again, thank you to all our sponsors. And if you want to go to www.patriotssoftball.com for more details on on sponsors and how to learn how your business could sponsor our Patriot program, be sure to check that out and uh, support your local softball team as we call this one a night from Pflugerville, seven to five. Your Eastview Patriots take this one from the Hendrickson Hawks. Thank you for listening. This has been Kyle Owen for SHN Sports. Patriots softball, have a good night.